¿Qué le pasa a Lupita? ¿Qué le pasa a Lupita? Ay, mi angelita, tú tienes un cuerpo hermoso que parece sirenita. Bebecita, bebecita, bebecita. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new to this channel, welcome. I'm Jackie and I'm Ria, and we're the Rangel sisters. Today we have a little get ready with us. Finally, after like being requested like 30,000 times, we yeah. finally decided to do one. We did ask you guys to ask us some questions and like topics to talk about in the video because we did not know what to talk about because we were just gonna come to the video, like just do our makeup. So if you guys wanna see how beautiful you could turn into because we are catfishes. Because we are catfishes the house. <laughs> just warning, <laughs> warning, <laughs> warning. <laughs> then just keep watching because you guys yeah. are literally gonna be like fucked early, but we are. You guys are gonna be like, <laughs> so just keep on watching. <laughs> I'm gonna do my eyebrows first. Okay, so I'm just gonna do my freaking brows and I'm just using the color, I think it's blonde from Maybelline. I do the whole like putting soap on my brows before you guys. This takes longer. Like this color, you can even see it. Like it literally looks like my hair. But when I first dyed my hair, um, this color went good with like the white ass fucking hair but now it's a little bit too light because my roots are coming out again and you know this quarantine got us looking like pinche choco flan <laughs> got you looking like a choco flan I use this Italia Deluxe thing for my brows either that or sometimes I use the NYX brow pencil thing but today I'm gonna use this one because it's kind of faster dude it's so fucking early like I thought no me levanto we're, we're very unprofessional. We are very unprofessional. <laughs> and they then I'm just gonna use already. this like little brush to con like um what is it? Carve out my eyebrows. Honestly, it's a Morphe brush, but oh yeah, como está bien, viejo. Like when Morphe was a shit back in the days, people were like all obsessed with it. Like, oh my God. Where like all your brushes <laughs> had to be Morphe or yeah, else, like either Morphe or Mac or you were lame. Yeah, that's when I got this one. Guys, I'm gonna carve out mine with the Elf concealer. The camel concealer. Okay, they asked us who has more friends. I feel like I have more. I have more like party friends, and I have more friends. How do I say it? Like, not like I see those close friends that I've known for like thirty thousand years, and that's what more what she has. <laughs> thirty thousand. Like you know, I see like. Where you're like, oh my god, for tantos años? Yeah. Um, I, no I, longer, really, I no longer have friends like that. Um, I don't really make uh, friends. And all my friends, like, they got married and, like, started living with their mans for, like, like, literally. Like, they got married and stuff and, like, you know? So I have those friends that, like, we were together since high school, middle school. Yeah, you see, I lost all those friends. I mean, I still have some, but it's not like, oh my god, like we are always They're hanging pink. out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna moisture, moisturize, um, prime my face with the photo finish primer. This is a little beefy one. You are already priming? Yes, bitch. I hurry the fuck up. I don't have time for you. It's because I always take longer with my brows. She literally does. I'm gonna finish before she does watch. The minimized pores I put like right in the center of my cheeks because that's where I have like the bigger pores. And then this one, the photo finish, which is just a smoothing one, like it's just like a blur one. It's kind Dude, of you guys, the that same primer thing. works so good though. Like I remember when I first used it, I was like, wow. It kind of does like the same thing, but it just like blurs you. Like it makes your skin look like a little, like a flawless a baby skin, like a little baby. Skin. Yeah, but. like she smooths the house. So totally. Even if you don't have like, like pores, pores or like this uh, acne scars or anything like that, it's still gonna make you look like. Yeah, you should do that shit. Buy it. So me for my face, I do that whole TikTok thing. I don't know if you guys have seen it. I put um, moisturizer all over my face, and then I put loose powder over it, and then I set it with. The setting spray. 
She said period. She said I'm a TikToker. Mm. Watch they the said one. the wildest thing you've ever done. The wildest thing I've ever done. Mm, I've done a lot of wild things. But I feel like my most wildest moments were when I would I would see an event of Ulises <laughs> on social media and I would literally tell my sisters, my other sisters, and we would like go like out of nowhere. Like I would see it on Wednesday and the event would be on Friday and we would get the hotel, we would get like everything planned, the days off and everything. I think those are my wildest days. Like I would literally, you guys, I would go, I would drive, like we would go hella hours, we would come back like the night before I had school and most of the nights I had presentations, I had like big assignments due and I would still fucking go. I would live that life. I think those are my wild moments. She would live that chola life. Literally, we would just go to Vegas like out of nowhere, we would just be like, let's go to Vegas. And I've had those wild, like, bella moments, huh? But other than that, have I have done something wild? Wild, young, and free. I don't know. But I prime my face with the Smashbox, you guys. Ugh, I can never work this shit to, like, focus. But the Smashbox and the Makeup Forever mattifying primer. Para que sepa. Ah, pasa ver. Okay, and then I just carved like my like my top of my brow with my foundation color. Like, do not carve it with your concealer color because your concealer is supposed to be lighter than your actual skin tone, you know? Yeah. And if you do it with your concealer, it's going to be all white on the top and then you're just going to look good. And then I feel like it just looks weird, especially when people don't really blend it. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. So if you do it with your foundation, well, it kind of goes and it'll be like, oh, oh she look cute. Oh, she looks like a baddie. What else have they asked us? Let's see. What's something you regret doing in the past? Something I regret doing in the past. I don't really regret much. I don't think I regret anything, honestly, because everything just like... It happens for a reason. Everything just tells you like, Ya ves? Like, yeah, yeah, you learn from it. <laughs> Como? Ya ves? Ya ves? Así, merito. Yeah. Okay, this one I think it's for me. It says, How do you feel not being born in the United States? Moody is making me. Making me cry <laughs> at 8 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel like sometimes it's like kind of sad because I don't even know Mexico. Like, I, we, we've never been to Mexico. We've never been to Mexico. And I mean, that. I was born over there, but they brought me when I was like months. So I didn't really. Like, I can be like, oh, I wish I was, like, born here because I Did don't know Mexico. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if I knew Mexico, I'd be like, no, I'm, like, happy that I'm always born over there. But I don't know Mexico. And, yeah. Um, I was raised here more than over there. It's like I wasn't born over there, you know what I mean? And it sucks también because I, I feel like I can't get the same opportunities as, like, somebody that's born here. Period. Like, you know. Like it's like a struggle, yeah. sometimes. Like, I but can't you just do learn this, how to live like that. I can't do that. I have to watch out because, you know, this could happen to me. This could happen to me. And, uh, so it's like, I don't know, kind of scary. People always ask me and be like, "Where were you born? Where are you from?" And I'll be like, "Oh, Mexico." And they'll be like, "Why do you look like you're from there?" And then I'll be like, "Well, I'm technically not." And they're always like, "Why aren't you proud to say that you're from over there?" It's because I don't even know Mexico. <laughs> It's not like you're not proud to say you're not from there. Like, we probably say we're Mexican and we're from, like, Michoacan. It's just, like, we don't... We've never been Mexico. we never experienced Mexico. Yeah, and they'd be like, I would be happy to be born over there. Like, people that are born from here. And I'll be like, well, because you don't know the struggle. Like, it's different if I were to it's be a, born. It is a struggle, you guys. Um, Over there. But still have my papers and still be able to just live my life how they're living it, you know? The only thing I have right now um, is my DACA. Which is what's like allowing me to work here and like all of that shit. But I still have to be careful what I do, what I say, where I go, where I'm at, where I hang out with. Yeah, it's, it's scary. It's a scary world. Oh, come on, Solecito. 
Anyways, I put um, two different concealers. I used the light beige, like as my regular concealer. That's just like a lighter color. And then I'm putting literally, it's like literally white. <laughs> like literally. Like light beige on the areas that you want to like highlight. I have big ass ears, dude. Okay, me. Remember when we did that video where we swapped our makeup? Where and everybody were? was like, where we swapped our makeup and everybody was like, that's actually your color. Yeah. Like, do we look the same color? <laughs> I feel like we look the same color in camera. Because for I some reason, like, our camera does something to us. Like, we don't know how to use it that good. And I know you ha it has, like, different, like, settings and stuff. Yeah. But we don't know how to do it. And I feel like it puts us this white cast on it. But where it makes us look lighter. But I'm actually, like, more than me. But I'm actually, like, tan. Like, fucking white. And she's actually white. Then I'm gonna use some powder and I'm just gonna sum up face. Where do we see ourselves in 10 years? Um, 10 years. I always find these questions so hard because life changes us. My foundation is the same one she used. The, what is this? I didn't even say my foundation because you were. Talking. Oh, the Superstay? Maybelline. The Maybelline Superstay. The concealer is the e.l.f. and then the cream contour. Um, in 10 years, I feel like I'll be what? 30... In 10 years? How old am I? Oh, in 10 years, I'll be 30. Four. I'll be 34. 34. Uh, married. Married with 100 kids. Married <laughs> to Dios quiere me married and I don't even have a boyfriend yet. I think I would want to be my own um, business woman. Um, married. Or if not married, like at least have my own place. Hopefully still doing YouTube together. Huh. Yeah. Why did you guys get into YouTube? Mm -hmm. I feel like um, it started when we did post like our first video together. And like people but had I a didn't, like this. I wasn't like, oh my god, like I really want to do YouTube at first. I was just doing it because she told, she was doing YouTube. Like, she had just started, huh? Like, you were doing, like, your little makeup tutorials. Yeah. And she told me if I wanted to, like, do a video with her. And I was like, okay. And then after that, people, like, started liking us. Huh? And, like, they wanted me in more videos and shit. Because I don't know what's wrong with me. But for some reason, I'm just dumb. And yeah. People, like, seeing me be dumb. We did, like, a... What was it? We haven't what's done in my video. mouth. We, we haven't, haven't, like, like done a new video. one. Yeah. Um, but, but we did a what's in my mouth. mouth and literally the quality was the most ugliest you guys I know I ever experienced in my we life. We were just learning how to edit. We just put like a curtain in the back and the curtain was literally falling and we were like like our backdrop kind of thing. Según nosotros. We were trying to be a and then we started YouTubers. filming like at five or six so the sun started to go down. So then we were like black. Yeah, like, like, we didn't have lights. It came out so ugly, but I still posted it. And, you know, people still watched it, and I was like, uh, The real ones. Oh. And then they were like, oh, you need to do my videos with Jackie. I just told her, like, we should probably do videos together then. And Jackie was like, nah. I honestly didn't want to do you guys, because, like, and it I was wasn't... Like, people want to see us together. Like, it wasn't something I wanted to do, you know? I would watch YouTube videos, but it wasn't like, oh, like, let me start a channel. Let me start doing videos, you know? Mm -hmm. I only started doing videos because on Instagram, you guys know how I post like little clips of me doing makeup. People would tell me like, you should start a YouTube channel and like actually like explain it and like do it longer and like all that. So I was like, I should. And that's why I did it, but. At the end, it ended up becoming us. Dude, the light keeps changing. And then it's okay. We're using the sunlight. We're not using like our lights today. I got my other brush for my nose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you have one? Like for your contour or like your powder? <gasps> I forgot a cream contour my nose. Wow, you do you do have it. This is my brush that I use. That's my brush. This is the brush that I use for my nose. That's the one I use for my nose. Yeah. And I literally washed it and everything. She's a You're a whore. whore. <laughs> well, you use powder and I use it for my cream contour. Really? I use it for my powder. No wonder it's always like powdery and I'm like, what the heck is wrong with this? You are me using my brush. You are me. Oh, our first playlist. You were saying our first playlist. Oh, there you go. Was our 
Mexican? No, I wore our tag. Our tag, uh huh. It was a music tag, and and after that one, it was when like, whoa, we were like, wow, like people actually like, like people these. started hello watching us. I think because that one was where we were asking like questions, so it was like una variedad de de canciones y like de tipo de canciones, you know? Yeah. Um, fights during school. Have we had fights during school? I don't think I've ever like actually putazos. I never actually like yeah did putazos either, but there was times where I was involved in things and like they would come up to me like they wanted to fight me and I was just like But I recommend you to not get in fights. Like just don't get into fights you guys. I find it so like kind of dumb. And like don't get into fights because your friends got into a fight. Like that's even more dumb. Yeah. So then like i feel like that's why i'm still friends with my friends because my friends would always like have my back you know my like, friends that's what i remember like that's the only thing i remember like that my friends would always be there and they'd be like oh yeah bitch when you want to start well guess what i'm gonna start too and they would go you see i didn't and, like, really have a lot of friends like that i was the one that was like that <laughs> and like and i remember there was like two times where like they wanted to fight me and i didn't have no friends around me it was just me um, they asked us how do we tell our parents about like our boyfriends. My parents have been wanting to meet my boyfriend. Can my I thank you? Imaginary boyfriend. <laughs> They've been wanting me to meet a boyfriend. They're always like, my mom, she's always telling me, Tu nunca has traído un muchacho a la casa. And I'm like, okay, because they're not worthy for you to meet them. Like, you're not, I'm not just like, giving you any My mom. moms like think that we're just going to be like, oh, I'm dating this guy, we're going to take him out already. Like, yeah. hello. I need to know. Uh, hello. Sure. I need to know for sure. Let me scroll all the way to the bottom. Oh, you guys, let me tell you guys the powders I'm using. So, I became obsessed with the wet and wild powders, the banana powder. They finally made like a loose one and then the translucent one. If you guys are looking for a powder, freaking buy these because they're so fucking good. Like, period. Tell us about one of your toxic friendships. Oh, no, puta cabrón. ¿Cuál de todas? <laughs> I don't think I actually had like a toxic friendship But I mean I had like um, Friends that just stopped being my friend like randomly Like oh, we I made it We made it through high school We graduated and we still hanged out But like And then after just They just don't follow They just like I don't know why I never did anything I never said anything I don't think it was like toxic because I never asked them to tell me why they don't even like me because they don't like me because they tell my other friends like oh I don't like her I'm not gonna hang out with you because she's going or something you know talk about the first day you ever went to Must was. my first like which one how many how many can I say like, how long ago <laughs> my first like, from date. where do I start <laughs> I don't think I've ever actually went on a date <laughs> like you know how you, on a date because I don't because I don't meet people through social media. Like everybody that I've been with, I don't meet them through social media. Like I actually met them in person. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I've never like let's go on a date. You know, I'll pick you up at seven and be ready, full glam. No, like we just met. Them. Honestly, I've never done that either. We're I've like, gone on date. I've gone on dates with friends, like people that I knew that were my friends before. Do you get me? No. Like they're your friends and then you guys just eventually end up talking. So then you go on dates. Oh. But I've done that, but I've never, you guys never gone on a date with somebody from social media. I'm too scared. Get that see me roban way. Like I can't. I yeah, can't. Like, I don't think I've ever, ever, ever gone like I can't do that. I'm too scared. Okay, I'm gonna do my lashes. It says I wanna start a YouTube channel, but I don't I don't because I know when I start getting hate, getting hated, and it will get to me. I mean, they're well, period. They're gonna start getting hate. Like they're gonna start getting hate, and then it's gonna get to them. Honestly, I feel like you you should just fucking do it. Like you just have to do it. My I lashes from New Look. <laughs> Same. Um, get the really seat. I feel like you should just start it. Because, yeah, I just started, you guys. Because there is hate. Because literally, me. literally, just yesterday in the morning, somebody comment, and it was on my video, and they comment on ours too. It was our Mexican playlist, like together, and they put mm -hmm. las hermanas que se planchan las nalgas or something like that. I was like, I don't, I, mean, I don't know what that means, but I they're calling it like, we have no ass, no ass. 
but we know. Sure, I know. This is why we're getting a BBL. Period. <laughs> and when I get my BBL, I'm going to get more hate. It's like, I, I feel them. like if you want it, you should do it. Like, don't. Like, when I started YouTube, I was scared. Like, even, you could go see, I think my videos are still up. You could go, like, scroll. And like I did like a voiceover because like I couldn't talk in front of the camera. I felt weird. And then, and then my she voiceover, didn't, and I then like, she didn't want us to be around when she was recording. Yeah, I would kick like she out, would, like, I kick would lock me the out. door. I, I was, was like, like, uh, I feel like we were all scared. Even mine, like when it came to me do my first video alone, like without you, I was fucking scared the house because people are rude. So you should totally do it. You, you should just do it. Somebody said plastic surgery. And we already said I that. feel I completely support plastic surgery. Like it's through the nettle, your body, you do what the fuck you want with it. I feel like I'm gonna get plastic surgery. I don't care what anybody tells me, I don't care what Me too. I'm going already my mom next tells week. Me, I don't care what <laughs> Me, I'm going next week already. Whoever I already I'm with think tells that. me I don't want you to do that. Like I don't give a fuck, I didn't ask you. Period. You in pain. Maybe Daddy Trump's pays for it for the next of me. <laughs> me, that's how I'm gonna pay for my daddy sugar. Trump with the money he's sending us. Your sugar daddy. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Moon, why do I hate us? Somebody said, Can you teach us how to dance? Teach me how to duggy. Teach me, teach me how to duggy. Así ya te enseñé. No, mira, mira. <laughs> how does the go? The one I just learned? That's me teaching you how to dance. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like I can't teach how to dance. I feel like I could. I can't. I could teach you how to dance. I feel like you can't because you were a cheerleader. Yeah. So you know, like, you know, this is how you learn a dance. And then um, I'll throw you like that guy. Like the <laughs> the guy that's teaching the girl how to dance and they're wearing like a red shirt. And he's like, I see you know how stupid that. Oh, and yeah. Like, right? <laughs> <laughs> Literally like that. We should try doing like a video of us teaching you guys how to dance, huh? And then the next one says, have y'all dated a taquache? I feel like Jackie dates taquaches. I do not. I've only dated... I told you. <laughs> I told you. No. Uh, not like I see dated for like forever. It was just like two times. No mas. But he was like a How real taquache. He, he was like a real taquache. Like he tenia su troqueando ke. All of that. How do you girls get along well together? We don't. We hate each other. Like I can't stand her. I just do it for the, like the video. Imagine. <laughs> no, honestly. I feel like cause okay like we've been together our whole life and then like we share rooms and we're like close in age like it's like four year apart but we're still very like close and it's like we're always together like all the time I feel like that's how I like that my parents raised us like that because they like my older sisters they have them a year apart so they're the ones that are always together like, yeah them, and they slept together in the same room and call it that I didn't know I don't like how I control my nose today Yes, they go to it. Yeah, and then me and Jackie are like a couple. Yeah, are like a couple years apart. How many four? What yeah, four, four years apart? It's pretty fun. Yeah. Okay, I'm pretty much done. I'm just gonna set okay, my brows done. with my little gimme brow. This one's in shade number five. Um, I noticed it's that darker. we didn't even say all of our products. It's literally. Oh, it's next. <laughs> How to get over an ex of almost three years. I don't know, I can't really. I've never had an ex for that long. I think I had an ex for like Well, like long. a boyfriend for that long. I don't remember anymore, but what I did was cried. <laughs> <laughs> Play playlist for Alex and cry. <laughs> I feel like I did that for like a little bit and then I just started like going out. Like with my friends. Like I'll just be like, Mom. Yeah, my boy. Just hang out with your friends. Or get, just get ready, get cute, and post a picture. And you're gonna be like, dude, I don't even need this person in my life. Like, what the fuck? Um, what else? Favorite online store? Laura's Boutique. Laura's <laughs> Boutique. I don't really 
really shop online. Like if anything, it's like we like to go to the store. I'd mom. like to try it on. Cause then if I don't like it or it's not gonna fit my boob or it's not gonna fit my long hair or it's not gonna fit. Literally, because we have like style. weird body shapes. Okay. Why they built like <laughs> why you built like that though? <laughs> why you built like that? <laughs> So I tried to put a topic on your story, but no se me se puso. Todo. Um, I wrote, but anyways, I wanted to ask you if your guys could give me advice on talking stage with a guy. Like, what are the tips to know to know special if other person is going through some things and it's hard for them to open up. If you want to be there to help them, but okay, I will. I'm gonna keep going crazy about this, but I hope you guys get the time. For the video and by the way i love watching videos and it's just literally are the best thank you mm, que no le que le... <laughs> let's see wait i feel like if you're barely talking like and that person doesn't want to tell you it's because you guys are barely talking yeah and it's like you you guys need to gain trust depends how long you guys been talking because if you guys start talking obviously if i were to start talking to somebody i'm not gonna go tell them like because guess what well, like my cat literally died yesterday and i like i can't breathe and i feel like i'm dying you know like i'm not gonna do that but I feel like if you guys been talking for like months now, what the fuck is going on? Then he obviously doesn't want anything serious. Oh, what were you with? Doesn't want anything I don't think serious. it's that, not that he doesn't want anything serious. I just feel like he can be one of those people that don't like to open up to other people. But if you like somebody, you're going to open up. But I think she wants like tips on how we can help her to have him open up. But there's like no way. But he's going to have to tell you himself. Like you uh, you either ask him or he you wait till he tells mm -hmm. you. Like just be like... So you're kind of like awkward. <laughs> Be like, you so like you're kind of awkward. <laughs> Be like I feel like something's going on. Like you don't want to tell me something or yeah, you know, is something bothering you? Like you could tell me. You could trust me. Do you want to talk and about it? And then they'd be it? like, No, I don't have anything. Like don't don't ask me. Then don't ask them anymore. And I feel like too, maybe you should open up too. But what does she have? I think that's it. Like yeah, we're just gonna end it there because we recorded. We've been talking for like years and we're gonna have to edit this in like two minutes so we're just gonna end the video there you guys today's shout out is gonna go to Fabi fabiola muñoz she said it's 9 a.m on a thursday morning and i'm re-watching this video for the fifth time craving bucanas with pineapple juice she said period <laughs> fifth yeah. time bitch me do you not get bored of us definitely need to party with the girls favorite sisters for sure for sure <laughs> thanks baby girl we love you i feel like i know her like i think i know her I feel like do we I even think look I like know, sisters? I think I know her. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, are we even sisters? <laughs> Let me go look my birth certificate. Okay? <laughs> but yeah, thank you for supporting us, honestly. That means a lot watching us five fucking times. Like I could never. Follow us on our social medias, you guys. We're going to leave them right here so that you guys could get to know us a little better. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And turn on your post notifications so you guys get notified every time we upload a new video. Follow us on our Spotify. We're going to leave it right here. Don't forget to tell your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, your abuela, your abuelo, everybody to come watch our videos. We love you guys and we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye.